Okay, I got the bolts out. I only got one left in here to hold this. These are uh, five eighths. Um, you generally got to have a uh, box in wrench or an open end to get to these two here. You can use a ratchet with an extension on this, um, but again, it's five eighths standard um, wrench. Move your last bolt, have a hope when you get the last bolt out. Sometimes these will drop pretty fast on you. And that's all there is to taking it out. If you want to change the water impeller, you take these four screws out right here and your water impeller goes right here. And you can get it as a whole kit and um, change out the bottom plate or you can just do the impeller and this top plate. Again, we're just checking to see why it won't go into reverse, so I'm gonna be checking this shifter rod. And putting it back together is just the, the opposite of taking it apart. So you just do the reverse when you put her back together. And don't forget to leave your splines before you put her back in. Okay, the lower end is shifting manually. When I manually shift it, it's shifting into gear. So I don't know why it wasn't earlier, but we're gonna put her back together and see what happens. And again, check this off this is where your water pillar goes. Nothing to put one on. You restab this, line your shift rod up in that boot right there. Line your water tube up. And slowly guide her back up. Once you get her in place, get your bolt started. All you gotta do from here is tighten your bolts back up and you're good to go. And uh, this boat should be ready to go go back to the lake. Again, this is D Maxwell 817. Gonna be signing off now. That's all there is to changing your water impeller or checking your lower unit out. So you folks out there have a good day.